Hello everyone, this is Sheba from Sheba and the Big Guy and today I'm coming to you with a wig review on this wig right here. I got the honeycomb one and the honeycomb is like a blonde color and it is shorter. What I'm used to, it looks like it'll be shorter and coarser texture. Let's see about this wig. It's about all tray. It's color bomb. It's peekaboo color. It's a lace front and it's 10 inches. So the other ones that I was trying on was 12 inches. And it's like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but um excited to try on something that's a little shorter. I just feel like shorter goes a little better with me. In my opinion of myself. Okay, so it has the netting on it. And it has all the stuffing that comes inside of it. Okay, so it's just like, you know, all the normal wigs. It has baby hair. There's the baby hair. It has two combs in the front. And let me show you. Two combs in the front. And here's the parting space. And then it has a comb in the back. And I like it's so short in the back. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, what else? That's it. Oh, yeah, and adjustable straps. And I'm going to cut off this lace quickly. And I'm trying to not remove the baby hair. Because sometimes I take the baby hair off on accident. I really don't use a lot of baby hair. I use a little bit of it to kind of conceal. But I don't... Um, Use a lot of the baby hair today. I don't know why I keep forgetting to start on this side. It's so much easier for me to start on this side. One day when I cut a wig, I'm going to have a big guy. That's my husband. Uh, he does YouTube videos on here with me too. But I think I'm going to have him hold the camera so y'all can really see it good the way I'm cutting this. If y'all want to see. But basically... You just cut it the way you would normally cut it on your head, but it's not on your head. It's on your head. I just feel like I can see better. I can see what I'm doing better. And, um, yeah, I could just get, I don't know. I just like doing it like this. I just, I'm not going to lie. I just love doing it like this. It's just so much easier to me. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. And I got like a little bit more to go right there. Okay, that's it. And then I go like this to pull off any hair that got cut on an accident. Any loose hair. And I'll go ahead and put her on. Pulling them baby hairs out. I usually put my thumbs in like that so I can get them baby hairs. And put the tabs where they're supposed to go. Oh gosh, this is blonde blonde. All I want is to be the white color blonde. <laughs> ha ha. No, I well, honey, I would assume that it would be yellow, but maybe I'll like it something different for me. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze them tabs on the side. Let's get my brush. Oh, this is cute. I like it. Oh, it feels so nice not to have to comb all the way down your neck <laughs> with the long hair. Um, so not okay. Plus, summer's coming. It's going to get hot. Okay. I think I want to twist this a little because I'm not really fit. That's my hair. That's my hair, that home right there. Okay. I think I'm gonna twist this just a wee little bit. Cause you know you can do it a wee little bit and twist it and don't affect anything. 
because I want it to be more sad, sad. And I like it behind my ear for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. I think it cuts down on the bulkiness of my face because I have a round face. Regardless of how much weight I lose or what size I am, I always have a round face. I mean, it's like I like this um, collection, but I just wish they would have had, it would have been like more curls and more volume to it. And when you try to curl it, it doesn't work. So, all right, let's get the going. So, the lace is pretty cool because you can't really see it that good. And I'm still going to put some of my mousse on it. Get my mirror so I can see really, really, really good what's going on. Okay, so what I do is I just hit the lace. And this is a mousse too, so I hit the lace. And then I use I use the mousse to do the baby hairs too. So you can see right there I actually use the baby hair. And then I use the mousse to um, hit this part of the lace, dye your hair. Just like I said, my channel, I'm really not the one for gluing anything down because I'm trying to grow my hair back. I really don't want anything that's going to interfere with that. Okay, so here's this spray that I'm going to use to get the desired look that I really want. So I spray in the part, I spray the baby hair. And for me, this is all I need for is like to tack it down. And if you want to, you could put like gel on your baby hair so you could tack it down, but... This is all I do, just to get the desired look that I want. Just a little bit of spray here. If the only thing for me it kind of falls flat is because it's like when you see this on here, you see her curving it a little bit. And I just wanted this to just do this. Just get the desired look that I want it. But it's cute for a little throw on something, something. Okay, y'all. So I'm really trying to give this a try. But I'm still feeling like, uh, I guess. Um, yeah, so I guess this is the end of the video. I might get it to my mom. <laughs> That's why sometimes I'm so glad that she's into wigs too. Because it's like, if I don't like something, I give it to her. If she don't like something, she gives it to me. So, it's okay, it's okay. I, I just can't really feel it, feel it. I really want to feel it, feel it, and I can't. But I think it's cute. I think it's cute. 
I don't know. I think with them, if they would have did this in human hair, oh, if this would have been human hair, because it's like I could do keep it like this. This I like this, like just like this. <laughs> but when it's um a synthetic, it's gonna give you what it wanna give you. So I'll take it. It's not that bad. It's cute. It looks cute. Had to go off camera and really try to do something like okay so i'm liking it i'm feeling it i'll let y'all see the back because i really like the back a lot i'm trying to let y'all see it good it's a little hard because i don't have anybody here with me This is the back. Hope you can see it good. And I think putting on a lipstick and I took and I held it like this and then I sprayed it up in here to try to hold that hole. And then I sprayed the hair to try to make it give me what I want it to. So to me, and this is Rihanna's MVP, the MVP. So this is Rihanna's lipstick. So I had to do something because it's like I know I was trying on this color wig. So I was like, okay, let me put this. You know what? My top ain't even right. <laughs> so I'm like, let me put this top on so I can get the little uh, cap in with it. You know, match this and then do the red. It's like a classic look, and then it's the blonde. So yeah, I think I I think I like it. It's growing on me, but um yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Plus I don't do this color. I do the um platinum. What is it? Six thirteen. I usually do the six thirteen. I have a video where you'll see me with the six thirteen. Sorry y'all, this is getting me. <laughs> but um I like the six thirteen on me. So this is something different that I normally don't do. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like it. I'm getting into it. The more I look at it on camera, the more. So it's like the key thing to this is sometimes you have to spend a little time with your wig. <laughs> you got to spend a little time trying to customize it and make it your own. And to keep looking. It's like you feel vain because you're like staring and staring and staring. And you're trying to fix it and fix it. But you got to do what you got to do to get the look that you want. Just in case you want to go on to the world with it. So on that note, it has been Sheba from Sheba and a Big Guy. And uh, Ma, put it in the comment section. Do you like this? <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Try to give a thumbnail. You already know. All right, bye.